okay here I have my dilutions ready uh, the least diluted let's call it A the middle one B and the most concentrated let's call it C and I have a piece of paper and before we start I want to show you different kinds of backgrounds that you can make uh, one is it's called a wash wet wash you take very little amount of coffee dip it in water and just paint it over the paper so that you get an antique look or a vintage look you just uh, brush it all over the paper maybe you can mm, give a lighter shade to one area and slight darker shade to another area another way is dipping your old toothbrush into the concentrated solution and just spraying over the paper here and there that too gives a beautiful look I hope you have your painting uh, ready in front of you so let's get started we take solution number a that's the most diluted one and start painting the petals one by one very carefully so that does not go and cross the borders otherwise um, clearing it up will be a big problem later on if you feel the solution is more on your brush kindly drain it on the tissue paper before you move on to the next petal likewise you do the whole thing I have done the first layer as well as I have given a bit darker shade towards the inner portion of the petal so that it gives a much deeper look the same way I have painted the leaf as well as the stem the base of the leaf too I have given a darker shade with the same solution A so that it gets that it gets the look of a turned uh, leaf or a folded leaf same um, same with the petals too first layer is done now you leave it to dry if it is difficult you can always use a hair dryer We'll start with the uh, second uh, solution, that is solution number B. You go over the leaves a second time. And as you color, you can see that the inner portion is slightly darker and it gives that shaded appearance to that petal. You can do the same for the leaf as well as the stem. Now this is the completed um, picture of the uh, petal as well as the leaf certain areas have given a darker shade in certain areas of the leaf also uh, have given a darker shade uh, the veins parts of uh, the tip of the petals as well as the base of the petals uh, to give it a more a richer look the next step would be defining the tip of the petal as well as the inner portion of the petal so that it looks neat and gives a natural look for the flower At this point, if you feel some areas are more dark or some areas you want it more light, you can always adjust it. If you want a lighter shade, uh, you wash your brush, dip it in plain water and uh, just sweep over that area. Or if you want a darker shade or merge, you uh, again dip it in water and slightly go over that area. Here I am trying to lighten the petals on the right side as the sunlight is coming from the same side. 
so I'm trying to dip the brush in water and to take away a bit of the coffee solution which I've already applied. Now we'll move on to the central portion of the flower. We take the solution B and just paint it over and certain air, especially the outer borders of the central part, you can uh, dip your brush in solution C, which is the most concentrated or the darker one. And you can put dots, but just be careful that you put it only on the outer edge of the central portion. Here again, I'm just giving a darker shade to the to those same places, the inner portion of the petal as well as the tips to give it a more accentuated look. If you don't have a fine brush for the tip of the petals, you can also use a toothpick or a thin wooden uh, piece. I've just tried using it and it came out really well. Again, I felt as though I should give a more darker shade to the outer portion of the uh, center of the flower. So I gave it a more darker color with the solution C. That is the most concentrated one. This part is optional. I've taken a little um, glue, mix it with a little bit water and put it over the outer surface of the central portion of the tooth. You can either leave it uh, like the painted one that you did right now or you can also use mustard seeds to give that realistic beautiful appearance. Take some mustard and put it on the glue where you have applied that is only at the outer borders. Don't cover the full area, only the outer part of the central portion of the tooth. After you have dried the mustard, take a little acrylic paint and dab it on the mustard. Don't paint it, just dab it here and there so that it gives that uh, yellow appearance of what you see in, in the middle of the sunflower. This is one sunflower and the leaf is done. So I want you to use your imagination and the shading techniques and complete the other flower as well as the leaves. This is the finished coffee painting. What I did extra was I gave a background with the least dilution. I dipped it um, on a brush, drained out the excess and just went over the uh, white areas which were left out the background areas this is the finished coffee painting and i hope you all liked it